What is up guys, Evil Duos here today, and today I have a bit of a different video for you. Um, there will be a Blade and Soul video coming out today as well, don't you worry. But um, this first video for today is about a project I've been working on in Unreal Engine. So if you remember back a couple months ago, I posted one on a racing game I was working on. Um, and this is kind of just like a little hobby I have that I work on in my spare time. But this project has actually been being worked on for about six months now, and I uh, kind of wanted to just show it off and uh, put a download link to the demo sort of version that is available right now. So if you wanted to play the game for yourself, you go ahead and download the demo in the description below. Uh, it is on Dropbox, and don't worry, I promise, no viruses. But anyway, um, it's basically a marble rolling physics simulator, so I just jump in here and hit the play button. You can see, uh, it, you know, you, you control a marble, there's different obstacles with different sorts of uh, effects and things, like so we've got these blocks that roll around and all that good stuff, um, you know, bridge mechanics, all, all sorts of different things you can do here, um, mechanics-wise, in this game, and as you see, there are some times where the bridge will just fall through, which needs to get fixed. But, um, so this is like my little demo testing area where I test out all the different obstacles that I've got. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the full file so you guys can take a look at it um, and see what it is about. So when you download the file, it's going to be in this folder called Ball Game 1.1, um, Evil Duh Ball Roll. You're going to have to go ahead and click the application, um, Rolling Ball, right here. Also, uh, to clear the save file, since there's no way to actually delete your save game, so after you've gone ahead and played through the whole story, you need to go to the folders so you see me going through right here. Um, find this file, save game ball, and then go ahead and uh, delete it. So um, that'll reset the save game. So then you go ahead and back into it and uh, ball roll, rolling ball, and start it up. And it hopefully should take me into the full screen on this right now. Um, if it doesn't, then I'll go ahead and fix that here in a second. So we are in the game. Um, pretty simple little drop screen here. I got to work on these a little bit. I mean, I've still got the HUD on the screen here. There's a lot that needs to get worked on, but um, it's a pretty cool little thing. All I got to do is hit. P to play, W state moves, and M uh, responds. There's little thumbnails, or whatever this would be called, tool tips, I guess. Whenever you come into a new area, it gives you a little information on the control scheme. Um, you gotta be looking for these little black boxes, which I don't know that you can see there. So we'll go over to level one. We'll play through level one, and we'll let you do the rest on your own from downloading the game if you do wanna see it. But um, basically, uh, yeah, so you see these boxes here. It gives you a tool tip on whatever mechanic is trying to be accomplished in the game today. So this floating object is a coin. Coins add your score. And as you see, if I hit the coin, it adds to the score. This object is a checkpoint, so it'll tell you that it's a checkpoint. Uh, you can go ahead and roll over that. And then if you fall off the level, press M to respawn, and it respawns you at the checkpoint. Uh, pretty simple little mechanic there. And when you complete it, it sends you back to the hub world and unlocks all of the remaining levels of the game. So I'm not going to go ahead and spoil it for you. I'll let you go ahead and play through it yourself if you want. This is just a little project that I've been working on. Um, each level, when you go up to it, has a little tooltip that pops up telling you your best score, or whether or not you've beaten it. Um, so those two haven't been beaten. But if we go over to this first level, level one completed. Although I don't know why the score... Oh, because if you fall off, your score gets reset. So score zero. So let's go play through that one more time just to show you. So now let's go ahead and actually get the coin and complete the level. And you will see your score on that level will be updated. Um, just to note that if you do glitch a level or something breaks on it, there's no way to reset the level. You actually have to force quit the game and start it back up, so that's a feature that needs to get added. As you can see, level one completed, score is 10. I know it's not uh, the prettiest thing, but you know all the mechanics and all the physics are in place, all of the like obstacles are created. It's just all about level design and making this place look a lot prettier. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you uh, go ahead and give this a try. Oh, look, the top of that thing's not even set up. Wow, I'm just seeing that now. Good thing I made the video. The top of the uh, Parthenon, whatever that would be called. What is that? A Colosseum? I, I don't know. The uh, pillared object there doesn't have the top center. But anyway, guys, go ahead and give this a try. It's only half a gig. Um, it is that big because all the assets are still in it. I didn't go ahead and clean the files out yet. So don't worry. I promise there's nothing bad in there. It's just because all of the assets to make the game are in it. I haven't cleaned out things that aren't in use. Anyway, guys, links in the below in the description, and if you are in my uh, Discord, make sure you join the Discord and report any bugs you find from playing through this game. Um, feel free to live stream it or do whatever you want with it. Uh, I don't know that anybody's going to want to live stream and watch five levels of a little marble adventure in game, but um, just I ask that you don't share or sell or do anything of that sort of stuff. It does have an exclusive copyright title on it. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give the game a try, and uh, I'll see you at the next video. Peace.